Health care in Oklahoma is in crisis and the time to act is now. That was the message delivered by medical professionals who gathered at the state capitol this week. They say failure to act this legislative session will result in catastrophic health care consequences that could, among other things, leave 16,000 elderly Oklahomans in need of 24-hour care with not even a roof over their heads. Health care providers and administrators from across the state packed the Blue Room at the state capitol with some startling facts and a call for swift action by state lawmakers. We're sending the message loud and clear that the time is now to support the Medicaid Rebalancing Act of 2020 and also to support a dollar and a half increase in the cigarette tax. President of the Oklahoma Hospital Association, Healthcare Craig Jones, warns of an impending catastrophe if lawmakers don't help make up a 25% Medicaid rate cut announced recently by the Oklahoma Health Care Authority. To illustrate what he calls a financial death spiral for health care providers, a compelling video was played for the audience. <laughs> The video clearly shows if legislators do nothing, we're talking about four out of five hospitals across Oklahoma will not deliver babies. We're talking about nine out of 10 nursing homes would have to close within a year. Tandy Hastings is president of the Oklahoma Association of Healthcare Providers. She says even before the announcement of the 25% rate cut, 29% of nursing homes were already facing insolvency this year. If Oklahoma nursing homes are on ledge today, the additional cuts to our Medicaid rate will kick us off that ledge. At the proposed 25% Medicaid rate cut, 93% of our homes will be at risk for closing. That means over 16,000 residents will be displaced and over 17,000 employees will lose their job Mike Carter is the chief executive officer of POTO's Eastern Oklahoma Medical Center, the only hospital in LaFleur County. He says the deep cut means no more babies born at the hospital. We have 350 babies delivered every year in POTO at our hospital. 93% of those babies are delivered covered with the payer source of Medicaid. Any cuts will require our closure of our unit of our OB unit. Seventy percent of the patients seen at Children's Hospital in Oklahoma City are on Medicaid. The births of 4,000 babies there are paid by Medicaid dollars. Chuck Spicer, who is the CEO of OU Medical Systems, says an influx of patients from rural Oklahoma will result in this. And they'll show up at my hospital in the obstetrics ER too late and the mom will have to be hospitalized longer and the baby will likely go to our NICU which has already ab absorbed three consecutive years of significant Medicaid cuts. Our cumulative total of cuts, if this passes, will exceed $50 million. The group says upping the tax on cigarettes by a dollar and a half would raise $182 million to rebalance Oklahoma's Medicaid system. Results of a new poll taken this month by Sooner Survey shows 74 percent of Oklahomans support hiking the cigarette tax. But to get the tax hike in place, legislators must come to a large consensus. Carly Putnam is an analyst with the Oklahoma Policy Institute. To raise revenue requires either a three-quarters majority in both houses or a simple majority and then a vote of the people. Um, and that's a pretty high bar to clear, but the stakes are also really high. Jones says he hopes lawmakers won't let politics get in the way of doing the right thing. 